Why is it so damn loud in here? Dude, this is the loudest arena in the entire NHL. But it's only filled to 78% capacity! Bergeron, 23 seconds into the game, Seidenberg tip, 16th goal of the year, Bruins go up, 1 to nothing. What, did I miss something? That you did, but it all doesn't matter because the Bruins get a long 5 on 3 power play, and once again, they do not cash in. Well, you know, there's no need to get greedy, they already got their one goal, I mean, they had three power plays in the first period. Yeah, but they had, um, three shots on all three power plays in the first period. Seriously, are you kidding me? I mean, that's just... That's just... <laughs> Come on now, dude. You didn't have to break my light. Onward with the game. Second period. Very uneventful first half of the second period. Back and forth, back and forth. Turnover after turnover until Johnny B. Good, Chuck Boy, Chuck Berry puts one home for the Boston Bruins, and we go up two to nothing. Looks like we got a big Chuck Berry fan in the room. Moving on with the game, the Bruins could not get it out of their zone. No, pigs were flying before the Bruins got it out of their zone. This was bad. The Canes go on a power play, and Eric Cole puts one in late on the power play. The Canes come back 2-1. to one. 45 seconds into the third period, Mark Recchi shoots out of the box, galloping like an old fox through the forest, and puts one home for his 560th goal in his career. That ties Guy Lafleur for 22nd all time. Congratulations to Mr. Mark, oldest guy in the league. Oh damn, Chelio signed three weeks ago. Recky. Hmm. He passed Lady Demon Brown, eh? That he did, but only one minute later, Eric Cole punches his second goal of the night past Tugarask, and the Bruins are back to a 3-2 lead. Ugh. But no, Michael Ryder picks one top cheese glove side. First goal in nine games. Bruins go up 4-2. Michael Ryder still on the Bruins? Miroslav Shatan, Satan, nabs a turnover, wheels it to Krejci in the slot, he deals, spins, shoots, scores, legacy, 5-2, to two, Bruins are up. Wait, wait, I've, I've done that way too much. Let me be like the, uh, the Ric Flair down there in rally. Whoa, 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 jet flying, styling profiling, limousine riding, jet son, son of my gun, Ric Flair, whoa. Looks like the sound's over the Carolina PA system. Caught on. Anyways, scary moment, couple minutes left in the game, Patrice Bergeron catches a Stewart bomb inside of the leg, gets carried into the locker room, well not, not on his own power, but luckily, just received an update, and his x-rays came back negative, and Julian says he should be okay, so, that's good. Bing! Question of the night, Mark Recchi, one of three Bruins to play every single game this year, 15 goals on the season, 42 years old, will the Bruins re-sign him to come back next year if he doesn't retire? In my opinion, yes, I think they should. Where are you going to find that offensive output for such cheap money? If they can sign him to a similar similar $1 million one-year contract, bring him back. And in case you haven't heard, this guy, Matt Cook, he's coming into town Thursday night. Yep, guy who hit Savard. I'll have a recap for you then.